So let's look at other types of functions. Here I want to use what we call AND and OR. So here is an example, the best way to explain these things. Let's look at, there are five students and they have scores on the midterm and final. I'm interested in knowing whether the student got more than 90 in both, which means the student got greater than 92, ni greater than 90 in midterm one and got more than 90 in final. That's what we want to look. If it is uh, true, then I put true or if I put otherwise false. Or I'm looking at at least one of the scores is greater than 90. So in order to do that, we'll say equal to and and C5 greater than equal to 90 comma D5 greater than equal to 90. So when this is true, it puts true. If it is false, it puts false. So if you hit enter, since both of them are greater than 90, you get true. You double click on this small square here at the corner. You see that none of them satisfy the condition. So you get false in all. Now I want to make sure, I want to verify if at least, at least one of them is above 90. In order to do that, we'll say R. And put the same condition again. And hit enter. Since both are above 90, you get true. If you double click here, you'll see that in the second student has one of them above 90, so it's true. While three and four are both less than 90, you get false. And the last student five has one of them greater than 90, so it's true. So now I can embed if statement. We can use and or or within the if statement. For example, if I say, if the student has got at least one 90, then gets an A, otherwise a B. Now, how do you do that? So if you go here and say if, if logical test, I can now link it to E5 if I want to, but let's not do that. I want to just put and here just to show you what we can do with if statement. If and C greater than equal to uh, C5 greater than equal to 90 comma D5 greater than equal to 90 then if both are true then you put an A if not you put a B so what we have done is we have included and within if statement so if this and is true then put A if not you get B hit enter and it's an A. I can now copy the formula. You'll see that since I put and, so this has to be satisfied. So since these four students don't satisfy, they all got B. Likewise, I can go back and then say instead of and, I can go back and put or. So you get A and if I now copy that formula, you see Student 1, 2, and 5 get an A while other 2 get B because one of them has greater, one of the scores is greater than 90. So this is how you use AND and OR and you can put any of these things within IF statement or any other types of functions.